just their choice of words, the angle they've taken, like the way they're making us to be heartless and all we care about is like partying. But there's a reason we're throwing these parties, it's not just for the lols, like I didn't do that at home every weekend. It's because it's our first year of uni and we feel like we're missing something. As we've seen through the months, since late March when this shit started, we've had no sense of direction. And I feel like we are currently struggling to grasp what our country as a whole really needs. So neglected. They don't give a fuck about us. But they don't care about any, they, they don't really care about the general population. Not they even race. led to a massive spike in coronavirus cases. It makes sense for them to be out. We should all be sent home and should be a mass lockdown here. That's, that's my opinion. Checking in to say there is a party going on at Nelson and Drake right now. And I'm looking at the pictures and I'm wishing I could be there. Obviously, I can't speak for how the people in the city centre are doing, but I can't imagine the sort of tough restrictions on socialising are good for their health. So the university know they've given us so much food, so they've put out um, donation spaces for um, food banks. So loads of flats in our building are putting out their spare food to give to the homeless. Um, so I think we're going to be doing that, um, which I think is quite a good response from the university. We've got so much sauce, so many cans, milk, just everything you can need. Can I just say, I hate online lectures. I can't concentrate. So I'll have an online lecture on, and my brain will be like, ooh, I know I should watch this, but I could also, you know, go to the kitchen and make a stir fry and some juice that the phone's actually resting on. But it's like, there's nothing stopping me from just leaving, you know, in a lecture, I'm there. You have a reason to be engaged. <laughs> so I've been doing loads of stuff, doing quizzes and stuff, doing art. Everyone's getting on really well. Like, <laughs> So like the general feeling now is lockdown's getting very boring for everyone. Um, and everyone's slightly getting annoyed with the university actually. Um, this morning they decided to do uh, a fire alarm test at eight o'clock in the morning uh, with the whole accommodation of about 200 people all in one space outside the front, um, many of which um, we're from isolating flats all together uh, in one small patch of grass. Hey guys, it's Tuesday 17th of November and I feel like shit. <laughs> I do see that students are of course very isolated this year. My name is Alison Dutois and I teach architecture and urban design here at UWE. I teach primarily first year and urban design. I think this model is actually really isolating in the best of times because you're set with, you know, four, five, six other people that you have to live with. I went to university in the United States and the North American model of dormitories or residence halls were to have 100 people on a floor who were living in rooms of two, three, five people. You had your own room, you had your privacy there, but there were continually opportunities to bump into other people and to get to know other people and to start to talk to that cute girl that you saw down the hall that you were really interested in, you know. It is a straight up prison block. Like it, it's, everything looks the same. It's a bit mental asylum -y and it definitely is different from at home. Like at home, I was lucky to have like a nice garden, I guess. And there was like a lot of fields around me. And I don't know how to describe it, the familiarity of my own town. It was just comforting. Like when I knew I didn't know what the hell was going on, I knew I could just like, I don't know, walk to the Eden Center like in town. Well. But here, I, I don't know anything. It was very different when I first got here. It was like this scary, like, clinical block with people I didn't really know. It was, it was terrifying. Just don't think that this model of little mini flats with mini kitchens uh, does it. Because it forces you to have to make the choice to go out and meet people. I choose to go to the union to go to that event, or I choose to go to that situation that's happening which actually I think most of us sometimes just think ah oh, well never mind I don't feel like it and if you're depressed or you're tired or you're lonely or you're scared or you're homesick you probably aren't going to do those things. It's almost kind of like we got fed a lie because we, we've that's why I signed up to I signed up to parties and signed up to lectures and I signed up to all of that but instead it's literally just like a blackboard meeting room and seeing someone for like 
coffee once a week. I didn't really deep the mental health thing two years ago. I didn't really think, I wonder how my mental health is going to be at uni. But I guess if you thought about it two years ago, I wouldn't have ever said it would be as like fluctuating as it is here now. When I was sticking to the rules, I got coronavirus and um, it just, I just showed me how the government scheme wasn't really working. Um, so I, I sort of do what I think sensible, use my own common sense rather than trust the government. I'm a big extrovert and I want to hang out with everyone. But since the first lockdown, well before that I could hang out with people for ages and hours and loads of people. But ever since the lockdown, everyone's kind of been forced to like be inside. I now, my social battery is so much lower to the point I can't really stand parties for too long. I have to go almost straight home. I think the parties are really really boring here like and they're gonna be they literally thrown in like a tiny dorm room there's like 10 people and one shitty speaker like that's it like no offense i'm gonna slate it like it's a terrible but it's the best that people can do i look around the room i don't think people are really enjoying it they're not like drunk enough or messed up enough and they don't actually like like the music it's just we're trying to act like we're having fun because we know we can't really i don't know i think it's all just yeah, I think it is catharsis to be like, look, at least we did something. Sometimes when you realise you're all alone in like this big city, it just gets like really isolating and you feel really small. Even through Bristol, it's 10 times smaller than London. Um, you, yeah, you just, you, you kind of just feel tiny. I do see that having to social distance from one another, to wear masks, to not be able to sit and draw on something together. I worry that that's causing people to feel more anxiety. Hi, so now we've got to a really like, boring and tedious part of the lockdown. Um, it's pretty much just every day, just wake up, walk to my desk, work the whole day, and then ba basically go back to bed. It's so boring. Just, I'm sick of fucking looking at everyone's pictures and videos of fucking parties that I'm not allowed to go to. Technically, no one's allowed to go to them. But, like, come on. Like, be fair. I don't know. Just... You know? Sad. I want to fucking be... Because I'm... Uh, I think the myth of what you're selling, the myth of selling a mini, mini flat and independent living is just actually selling isolation, even in the best of times. Thank you. I'm not really that nervous to get a test because I've had one before, so it's not something I'm new to. Uh, the process is more like annoying as opposed to scary, like it is obviously an uncomfortable experience, but it has to be done, so. Next stop, Belgrade Road. I think given the fact that students have been like demonised for months and now the government are allowing people to mingle again, I think it does seem a bit hypocritical of course. Um, I mean, we were used as like scapegoats, obviously, I think, for a lot of the issues. It's kind of made me want to get into politics more when I realised that the people, I mean, it is an unprecedented situation, but seeing how kind of badly they dealt with it, considering this is kind of what they've been trained to do, like these like amazing elite and supposedly highly intelligent people. I know, I get it, like I would be ridiculous in that situation. If you told me to run a country in a pandemic, I wouldn't know what to do, but the point is they're meant to know what to do. They have so much education and skill behind them, but like they still just messed up like anyone else would. In my experience, the students are really responsible and care. There are outliers in, in all the population and people who choose not to uh, go to what's an, an established rule. But I don't think, I don't see that among students at all.